Hello and welcome. It is the uh, first day of September 2019. My name is Derek and welcome to the Money Charts channel. As the trading day is almost completed, at least via the trading view purposes, or it is uh, 23 hours and a quarter UTC time. 23 hours and a quarter. So 45 minutes left in the uh, day. And we'll move on to these on to the second and that of Labor Day. Okay, so this looks to me as if Labor Day is going to be seeing this thing go a little bit higher. I'll, I'll mean, everything you do is your own risk, your own reward for any way you might want to trade the information that I present. I'm just going over what I, how I'm looking at it, what I'm doing, that sort of deal. But uh, the strength amongst the 18 average of highs, it's most certainly easily noticeable. On the shorter term time frames, every single one of these time frames to me is telling me that this thing is most certainly just looking and ready, poised to have a breakout. This play in here up to this high, correcting very nicely within in here, and now this exitation that I'm seeing at this previous high level. One of the things I mention about uh, the situations that I hate, and this is not one of them, is usually what happens is you have a key high, key low, and then when you come back to the key level, most likely all you're well overextended on all of the 18 averages where, well, I know, it's just tough. Here, you're not overextended on the 18 in here. So as it's playing out, because it was well overextended at this point, and now as it's from this move, we're just a little bit above the 18, I need to see this go well, well, well above where this 18 average here is for me to say, oh, we're in overextended conditions, but it looks like based on all of this in the ascending triangle type of pattern that it should do such. We switch it off. I mean, all these power, all these uh, time frames, three hour, we can see it again here. This, just this period down to this and breaking out again. I think it's uh, poised to take uh, out and have a new uh, nice little high. We have 42 minutes and 19 seconds left in the hour, which means uh, we're almost a third of the way through. So holding in over two gains at two periods in a row, two hours, with a large, uh, spectacularly uh, nice amount of moves. But we can see it even clearly here. This is like three periods going sideways since it completed at 18 and a half hours, or 6.30 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. And it's been uh, 30 plus uh, four. It's been over 34 minutes of just going sideways. I don't know if I'll be able to see uh, it better. Yeah, just little, it looks to me that it's uh, a nice little setup overall. And of course, on the daily chart, again, uh, it looks to me like uh, it should go much higher. Now, Bitcoin in itself on the daily chart, as its day is almost done, the market will close in 42 minutes as I'm saying this. Up day of 171 or 1.79% should be the general area of thumb. But this thing over the last couple hours has really been getting going, as we can see in here, just those two little green candles. Uh, having this big level of resistance at about the 96 and 3 quarters level, getting above it. Now let's see, this is an area I want to see hold as support for this to be a valid, legit move, or else it's going to be a failed breakout. But now it's trying to fill, or it's filling some of this empty space from this last decline here. Uh, not only from this decline, but even from this decline and this decline in here. It's been making a bunch of lower highs, and it's got to do something to end that trend. And one of the easiest things is to start making patterns of higher lows. And we have one higher low right here. We have another higher low right here. You can sort of count this as well. So that's a good start. But as far as resistance is concerned, this level was the first established resistance, which was support throughout this entire run here. So now it's gotten above a second level. Of course, this is what I'd be looking for as the possibilities to come back to support. If, of course, uh, such does exist. And overall, it's still in this range. It's still at the lower end of this range. And the range is between uh, 9,100, even 92-ish or so. But yeah, 93, 9,400, up to betweening uh, 12,000 and 13,500. All right, let's move on. And we'll do so with Litecoin against Bitcoin, which last time it even attempted to revert this downtrend was this long run in here. Obviously, didn't do so there. And uh, what have we had? We've had 18 average declining at the entire way. And we're still 
amongst the uh, in, in towards that band. In fact, it's looking to it's barely below the 18 average of lows. It's got a long ways to go. But on the hourly time frame, we're seeing possibilities of the uh, the either the failed breakout or the uh, come back to your uh, breakout area because most certainly this is a short term level of resistance amongst this uh, area here at about the 67 and two thirds handle hasn't came down quite to that point but really to the area and it has came down to match this uh, high in here but the breakout of course in here it's either the start of a little bit of reversal or it's a failed one this is uh, aka reverse head and shoulders like left shoulder head uh, right shoulder sort of deal at least it's the exact same sort of school of thought because the big thing about that is from the time you make your head formation on the inverted you have to make a good move to make the low which because it has to be a lower one and then just to get to the previous high because you made a good low well that's that's an accomplishment in itself and although technically it didn't get to the high although it pretty much did it was just a pierce below well, the next thing you have to do is you have to hold a higher low, and that it most certainly did. And then, of course, you have to have the breakout, which it most certainly did with a noticeable high. So this is either the failed breakout or this is the break it out. Then you have your established comeback, usually where you came from and then left off. Pretty much one of those either or situations, either or either way you can expect big volatility moving forward, which is Monday and Tuesday. Let's move on to... WAN against Bit, uh, Binance Coin. I talked about this in this morning's video. Had a good day today, and it was a good call, I suppose, because I talked about this uh, down well, well before this big green candle happened at 1300 hours. But what made this very frustrating for me? Yeah, oh, it was great. The gain was great, and the last bit of it was sold to the upper end of this. So that's all fine and dandy too. And I could have bought back, and I could even continue a trade with it because this still looks good. Like we can continue this leg higher. But what made it very difficult was I was looking, oh, let's get into something else. And, well, we can see this happened at 1,300 hours. And I was looking at Monero. And it went off. You can see 1,300 hours here was starting to break out. So between, like, maybe around 1,400 hours even, I'm thinking, okay, you yeah, know what, let's get into it. But that's, it was well extended to this. Let's look for a buyback and get where we came from at around 316. No, oh, it didn't get there. And, woo, nice, nice, nice gain that occurred within it a lot of up nice up and down choppy action overall amongst this uh, cross overall and uh, let me just take a look at this uh while we're at it i haven't seen it against bitcoin in a while so let me just uh take a look at it that way and i've uh let's see yeah a little different here Oops, in a decent, like a lot of other coins, at lows, either at, well, this is only the Binance chart, but at lows not seen in a while, or all-time lows, all those sort of deals, which a lot of uh, coins are in that uh, camp right now. And when looking at the BNB, to finish this off, at least the crypto side of things, it looks as if maybe it's going to follow suit as far as continuing lower within the Bitcoin dominance so I've turned some of my BNB into uh, Bitcoin, and just for a quick little trade, as uh, it could revert in overall, but I don't think that a lot of these altcoins are going to be doing well over the next few hours. If I was wanting to be really aggressive, and I'm definitely the quite opposite, I would be making a large amount of sales at uh, within the altcoins and. And then looking to buy them back cheaper. Rather, I'll continue, of course, to trade uh, the ratios as, of course, need be. And as we move into the new week, we got gold and silver that are now moving. And they opened up very interestingly. That's how I'll finish this video off. Uh, you can look for uh, more videos titled The Precious Metals in itself. I'll try to do one of each if I can. But it all depends on what's exciting. I might just take the flavor of the day for whichever has it. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. But on the gold side for now, the price action has gapped higher as... Uh, it closed at 15.20. It opened at 15.26. Continued to rally to 15.33. So a gain of about almost 1% from the open. Or excuse me, from the close rather. And uh, has um, managed to have another little false little rally here. And barely getting now below this level of very... I mean, this is so short term. 
uh, level of support, but uh, early, early action towards the upside to start the week off. It has been holding this Fibonacci level right now as support on the short term. And on the longer term, which is like the three-day, weekly, and monthly, still no determination yet if this is uh, going to be resistance. Usually if it is, it pierces extra. That has already happened, as we can see that the line's a little bit above it. And this uh, month, or the market of uh, uh, gold closed technically below the Fibonacci line of 15.20, but pretty much at it, at a gain of 7 to 2 thirds percent. Silver closed the month up by 12 and 8 ninths, or 12.88 percent, up by two dollars and nine cents for its month. On uh, the, I like how the daily chart of silver has been the way this has been grinding for the last four periods from the three green candles up. That to me uh, is a nice little how you handle the move. That is so. The uh, let's just take a look. Maybe I should take a look at it better on the three, because I want to see more candles for that exact situation. Well, as this goes, I mean, you're just consistently making higher highs, like, like mad. Higher, higher at 15 and a half, and then again at uh, 1662, again at 1728, and then as of now, and no, highs and lows are known after the fact that it wouldn't surprise me as we see with the 18 that it does take it out. Right now, the most previous high is in it around a little under 18 and two thirds. I looked at this more, when it came out, it was a little symmetrical. I thought this was pretty interesting, but same thing like gold gapping up and right now holding on to its gains on the short term. I'll cover more on the gold and silver market throughout the week. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye bye.